What is up guys, it's Chief Jamie or the Feral Potato here, and today we're back with another League of Legends guide commentary. So today we're going to be doing a Braum support guide, um, and yeah, let's get right into it. So, I did make a video yesterday, but it did get a little messed up, and like, the quality was kind of bad. Well, it wasn't really the quality, but it got, it kind of like buffered, um, even before I uploaded, after I rendered it out and everything like that. For some reason, it still, uh, you know, had a little buffer and stuff like that. So I want to remake the video. Um, yeah, and it's gonna be on Braum, so if you guys didn't know, I'm going, I don't know if it's just a phase or something, but I'm going through a support main, so, uh, by the way, I just hit silver 2, 19 OP, I just won a game just now, right before this video, uh, so yeah, so we're slowing, slowly getting there, I haven't, uh, recorded any, like, road to platinum, or road to gold yet, um, but I'm planning on making a few of those soon, uh, but for now, this is gonna be my, uh, Braum support guide. So if I, if I do sound a bit different, I am a little bit sick, but uh, hopefully it doesn't really sound much different. But anyways, let's go over Braum a bit. So he's mainly a support tank. Um, I wouldn't really see him played any other, in any other role, I mean, or in any other, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? Like, like I wouldn't see him played as like a mage or something like that. Um, obviously, you can play him as like a mage or, you know, uh, an auto attack base champion, but... Um, you know, so he's mainly a support tank that fits him the best. Although I did find, uh, what's it called? In, uh, Sated Devourer Jungle, Braum, if you can get to, if you can get your Devourer Sated, you become super strong just because of your passive, your Q, and your R, uh, because of so many stuns and stuff like that. So much CC while dealing a lot of damage as well. But anyways, let's get right into it. So, he currently has three available skins, I believe. Dragon Slayer, El Tigre Braum, and Braum Lionheart. My opinion, my favorite one is actually um, uh, the Braum Lionheart one. Uh, I I also like the LT Grey Braum a bit, but it is a bit expensive, or at least more expensive than his other skin. This one's uh, 975, I believe. I got it with the uh, with um, when he came out. I got the bundle. Uh, if it's 1350, then my bad. But I think it's 975, and uh, LT Grey Braum is 1350, and uh, Braum Lionheart is 750. So, let's go over his abilities a bit. His passive is honestly what makes him Braum. It's because um, Braum adds stacks of concussive, concussive blows to enemies with basic attacks or his Q, Winter's Bite. And he and his allies, that's a big thing, his allies also can proc or add on to this uh, passive. Uh, he and his allies continue to add stacks with basic attacks. Uh, at 4 stacks, their target will be stunned. So, 4 attacks or if you... Q first, and then three more atta auto attacks. Then your target that you uh, are stacking on is going to be stunned, which is a huge, honestly, a huge thing in lane. I mean, it's good late game, but in lane, that's what really gets you ahead. It's because of this passive. You really don't want to get hit by this passive. Just like Tom Kenji, you really don't want that uh, those stacks on you, or then he can like eat you up and stuff like that. It's really bad if he gets those stacks on you. Same thing with Braum. Um, he can CC you uh, pretty hard and lock you down pretty hard. So Braum's Q is Braum propels freezing ice from his shield, slowing and dealing magic damage. So early game, this actually does quite a bit of damage. Um, mid game, I would say it does pretty good damage. Late game, I mean, it still does damage, obviously, but, you know, it wouldn't really be, you know, a big damage source. Uh, but the main use for Winter's Bite, or his Q, is actually to proc um, his passive, and it actually does, like I said, pretty good poke early game. You just have to watch your mana, though, because I do find a little bit of mana problems if I spam this ability. Um, but it also go, goes on max health, so your percent health, so uh, yeah, so if you're the tankier you are um, health-wise, then uh, the more damage you'll do. Uh, his W, Braum's W, stand behind me, is uh, Braum leaps to a target allied champion or minion, and on arrival, Braum and the ally gain armor and magic resist for a few seconds. So, uh, this is a pretty good ability, I would say. Uh, if you can call it a combo, I would say W E Q, um, because stand behind me is kind of like a Lee Sin W really. Um, it just can't go to wards, but it can go to minions and champions. Um, it's really good for. Honestly, the main purpose for me is just to get in front of them. It gives them some armor and magic resist, which is really nice. But the main reason is to get in front of them and use this uh, E ability, which I will talk about a bit after this. Um, but yeah, that's the main reason for me is just to get in front of them. It doesn't. It does give them a little armor and magic resist, but I max it last, so it doesn't really do that much other than uh, you know, pretty much teleport in front of them. So Brahms E unbreakable. 
Braum raises his shield in a direction for several seconds, intercepting all projectiles, causing them to hit him and be destroyed. He negates the damage of the first attack completely and reduces the damage of su all, sub all subsequent attacks from this direction. Uh, subsequent, however you pronounce that word. Um, but anyways, so his E is pretty much, uh, I would say it counters, you know, a few a few different champions in, in lane, like, um, say like an ADC like um, Misfortune or someone like that. This is really, really good against um, Misfortune, just because it can pretty much block everything. Uh, Lucian, it's pretty good, I would say. Pretty much those caster type people. Unbreakable is pretty good. Don't get me wrong, it's also pretty good against like Jinx or uh, Vayne or something like that, but it's pretty much better for... Um, the caster ADCs, in my opinion, like Ezreal and, and all that. Like Nami, it bl completely blocks her ultimate, which is really good. So yeah, that's Unbreakable, his E. And his ultimate is uh, Glacial Fissure. Braum slams the ground, knocking up nearby enemies in, in a line in front of him. A Fissure is left along the line that slows enemies. So um, this is mainly as a CC tool, uh, a crowd control tool. Uh, it helps with, with like Yasuo's and stuff like that, just because when you knock them up, uh, you know, your Yasuo can come in and just, you know, ulti them. So it's re really good for Wombos in some scenarios. It also leaves a, uh, a line that slows enemies, so that's also pretty good, um, depending on how you want to use that. But it's mainly for the first uh, initial impact that knocks them up, in my opinion. So yeah, those are his abilities. Um, I think Braum, in my opinion, is pretty versatile. He can be played de played defensively or offensively, maybe not like as much as Thresh. I would say he's mainly defensive. Um, but he can definitely be played offensive as well. Um, his passes, passive is just really good. I've seen some people just go Kyoses just for his passive. Just because of how strong it is if he can land all four. Um, especially in lane because your ADC is most likely ranged. Unless it's like a Mordekaiser or something like that. But um, yeah, your ADC is most likely ranged. So they can easily get, uh, you know, proc, proc those stacks on the opponent. So let's go into the runes now. You can definitely go a different, uh, many different types. Uh, I basically only have two room pages. Again, I am planning on getting more, but it's taking me a while because I'm trying to. Now since I'm back, I'm like into support. I'm trying to get like Zyra, Lux, like Karma, like you know. I'm trying to stack up on those support champions. But I definitely do need to get a new room page. I know I've been saying that for a long time. Um, but I have two room pages. One for pretty much my AP supports like Annie. Um, once I get her, Lux, Karma, Zyra. Um, Bard. Uh, actually, I don't use this for Bard, honestly. Uh, I will, pr I will make a lie definitely on Bard soon. Um, but yeah, that's for a different video. For like, uh, let's see, Velkaz, stuff like that, or people like that. Uh, this is the one that I use mainly for my like tanks, pretty much. Um, I just have nine greater marks of magic penetration. Uh, actually five, my bad. Five uh, greater marks of hybrid penetration, and then uh, uh, what's it called? Four. Greater marks of magic penetration. I take two quintessences of armor and one quintessence of moon speed. Moon speed, in my opinion, is always good on uh, supports, especially if you look at my mattress here. I always buy pretty much boots of swiftness whenever I can, even with alacrity sometimes. So I really like um, movement speed on my supports. Uh, I also take nine greater seals of armor, depending on who you're playing, but like Thresh, you could take scaling armor just because he doesn't get armor every level. Um, again, that's that's for another video, but I just wanted to add that in. So it definitely be versatile with your rune pages. Don't just copy mine uh, exactly. Just uh, do whatever you guys want to. But um, this is the one that I run uh, for Brom at least. So nine greater seals of armor, and then nine greater glyphs of magic resist, just for that early magic resist. Um, again, you can take scaling ones. I should probably take scaling ones because there's probably not going to be uh, you know I'm not I'm probably not going to be dealing with a lot of magic magic damage early game because you know I'm, I'm gonna be in the bot lane but yeah so uh for my masteries i usually take this rune page uh 0 to 12 18 five points into wanderer one point into secret stash five points into meditation and then one point into bandit and then for my resolve tree I take five points into unyielding one point into tough skin five points into veteran scars uh one point into insight uh five points into legendary guardian and one point into bonded stone so, you know, there's been some debate, like, you could take Grass of the Undying just for that extra damage. I've seen some, and it actually worked out pretty well, believe it or not. But, um, you know, it's just your per personal preference. Um, 
I still like the regular Bond of Stone, the damage reduction, and any health that you can get from these Masteries is good. Uh, just because, like I said, um, his Q uh, early game does a lot of damage, especially if you if you have more health. So even for the runes, you could probably take out some of these uh, seals or uh, even some of these glyphs for some uh, you know health instead. Now, lastly, for our item sets, uh, like I said, I did a fail video, but uh, I still have the item set, obviously. So again, don't copy it, you know exactly, but definitely look at this and consider these because I really like to uh, to run these. So. I obviously start out with Relic Shield. I think that's definitely a must for Braum at least. Three health potions and one Warring Totem. Keep in mind your health potions are actually uh, total biscuits of rejuvenation because of your mastery. If you go my rune page, and yeah, so it's gonna be it's gonna give you a lot of sustain in lane. Um, also, I rush Sightstone and then I try to rush into my first big item, Eye of the Equinox, uh, just for you know the extra warding potential and health. Like I said, health, health, health is everything early game, at least for Braum, um, just because of that Q damage, and because health is really deceiving, like, if you go up to a huge Cho'Gath, he might be full AP, but it's just, he has a lot of health, uh, that's just how Cho'Gath is, but he might have, like, 80 armor, so you can shred him easily, but he has a lot of health, so, that's the big thing, health is always gonna be good, like, I would rather have, you know, 5,000 health, than, like, say, a 1,000 armor with only, um, what's it called, with only like 1,000 health, like honestly, I would rather have 5,000 health be just because of you know how how much health can be versatile. Like armor is just armor. Health is can be for you know magic damage, uh, AD damage, utility stuff like that. Like I just like to go health early game at least, and then I like to start building into you know spirit visage if you need that. Dead man's play, I really like that because it gives you that movement speed. Like I said, I like my movement speed on my supports. Um, Randwin's Omen, I really like this. I started to like uh, like this item. It's really good all around, so, you know, I really recommend this item. And then Sunfire Cape is definitely an option. If you guys don't know already, Sunfire Cape is really OP right now. Um, but yeah, you can just decide that for yourself. And then your boots, you have a few options. I would recommend going for cheap boots. I know these aren't very cheap, but um, that's why I usually go Boots of Swiftness, because it's pretty cheap. Gets me around the map fast. I don't like Boots of Mobility just because um, when you're in a fight, you're going to be pretty slow. And I want to be, you know, all around fast throughout my all my fights and everything like that. So Boots of Swiftness is a really good uh, alternative to Boots of Mobility. Um, and here's some options that you can go. Banner of Commands are pretty sh always going to be strong, honestly, for the split push. Uh, you know, put down a banner and then a Zerat's portal. Uh, you know, Face of the Mountain, you could go that. I like going e Eye of the Equinox, though. And then, you know, Banshee's Veal if you need that against Blitzcrank or maybe an RE Charm or something like that. So tell me how you guys like this video. Um, I will be releasing more videos shortly. I'm sorry I haven't posted in so long. And, you know, I said I would be back, but it's been like two days, th maybe even three. I haven't checked. Um, but it's just because I did try to record one, but uh, I kind of like, you know, rendered out badly. So hopefully this one's going to get out soon. And, yeah. Uh, do you wish to save? Yes. So yeah, that was basically the video, guys. Tell me how you guys thought of the Braum uh, guide, and also tell me if you guys want to see for my gameplays at least. If you want to see uh, or want to hear my bad, uh, in-game sounds like you know, like the in-game sound or just my voice commentating. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, thanks for all the support. I know it hasn't been easy, especially watching my videos because I'm not that good at making them. But hopefully, you guys stick around. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.